Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, uh, finally I get to feature Nomos on my channel. I'm sure I have spoken a few times already about uh, my favorite model, the Autobahn, which sits very much on the fringe of what you typically associate uh, with the brand. Uh, but uh, when the brand uh, reached out to me asking if I would like to review one of their watches, I was already quite excited. Uh, they asked me which were my favorite models. So of course, I mentioned the Autobahn, the uh, World Timer Zurich, which is also a bit of a specialty in their in their lineup. And then I said, uh, you know, I really like the entry level, the uh, the club. I've always loved the the design of it. And it turns out that uh, they had uh, on loan here available in Hong Kong a uh, sport model 42 millimeter from the club line. So I jumped on the chance to review the black version, which arrived the next day uh, to, to my office. Very efficient, great, easy communication with Nomos. So here it is. Uh, I remember when this came out, my friends and I thought, yeah, that's the one that's going to make a, a difference uh, again and um, reach out to, uh, to more people for the brand. And having spent a few days with it, understanding more of what it's all about, I can say that it stands in a league of its own. There is simply no competition at the price point around the 3,000 euro retail price point. And I'll tell you why, in, uh, it's very simple. You have a 95% in-house made manufacturer movement. The DUW6101, a real game changer. Uh, th this one uh, is a bit uh, larger, 15 and a half uh, uh, lines, as they call it in, uh, in watchmaking. So it was made to have uh, to offer a larger watch than uh, traditionally they would uh, offer. But most importantly, it's only 3.6 millimeter high. So you end up with a watch of only 10 millimeters of height. And yet, you have a thousand feet of water resistance. That's more than 300 meters. You have the small running seconds and you have a date. There is simply no other brand that offers that. On top of it, it is beautifully finished. It is regulated, adjusted in six positions, one more than the uh, chronometer five and it has uh, clever bits like you'll notice when I unscrew the crown there's a little warning there that it is unscrewed so you have to screw it back in to ensure the water resistance uh, of course you have a stop seconds function good chance to put the, the, the time at, uh, at the 1010 10 or the 910 here, nice and out of the way. The clever bits uh, with the with this movement is the, the date, which you can move forward as usual, but also backwards without hurting the movement. So clever, and uh, I understand that also is pretty much impossible to break it during the change at the, at midnight. They have a throttle uh, as well there. The crown, the, since we're talking about it, the winding is uh, slightly coarse, but not unpleasant. And screwing back, it's very easy and very quick. A couple of turns and you're in. Since we have it in close up, let's get even closer to the beautiful dial. Dial is always important, of course, for Nomos. So with Nomos, everything starts now with uh, with the movement and then from there the which is fully made in the glass shooter they have their own escapement uh, everything uh, only five percent not made in house fully and then from there the designers in uh, in berlin will design the, the dial and uh, the case uh, those are made by uh, third parties uh, but uh, really beautiful the case on uh, here 
reminds me uh, of the cases you find uh, with long girls, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same case maker. Uh, the, the dial, just like the watch, uh, the first impression you get is that it is very flat and uh, it gives an impression of, of quality. So here, strong, of course, uh, identity, just like the, uh, the classics from the brand, the uh, Tangente, the Ludwig, the uh, Orion uh, line, uh, which uh, respect the uh, principles of the Bauhaus uh, school of uh, design, very uncluttered. I would never say simple because simple is difficult. I would say uncluttered and, uh, and pure. And uh, the club line has uh, the, the big numerals and uh, the intermediate uh, indices. Uh, which also have uh, they have a playful, more youthful uh, appearance, which uh, suits very well a sportier version of uh, of Nomos here. And if we get very close, you can notice you will notice that uh, those numbers seem like they are etched within the the dial. They're very glossy, and uh, they appear to be. Uh, there you go etched within the dial, you have a simple minute track uh, around. I like a little bit of color for the Neomatic uh, moniker and the water depth designation. So made in Germany, we have great German watchmaking uh, here. And uh, as I said, in a league of its own, at that price point, you have your Tudors, you have the very entry level, maybe uh, Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko will be much thicker. Tudor will never reach 10 millimeters, uh, even without a date, even <laughs> without this uh, water resistance. There is simply uh, nothing uh, in the mar on the market uh, that's nearly as good. Even if you pay twice, three times the, the price, you will never get such water resistance, a clever, date and still a very thin watch, a very thin movement. Now before we talk about the bracelet, uh, I have to mention that the loom is excellent. Let me introduce a uh, loom shot uh, right here. Just uh, very powerful, same uh, and the same intensity on the hands and on the uh, indices uh, as well. So the, the watch here yeah, has a uh, makes a strong impression on, on the wrist. There's a lot of uh, contrast. They don't, they don't go for the uh, faux loom, faux patina. Uh, here we have white on black, so it is a, a very strong contrast. Now, the bracelet. As you might know, they offer now a three-link type of, a three-piece link type of bracelet, uh, very reminiscent of uh, the Oyster bracelet of, of Rolex. I guess it's to please the punters, but uh, what I like about Nomos is that they go their own way. They have a strong identity, and um, yeah, maybe they, they had to offer something like that. Uh, here it is on, on my wrist. But I'm glad that they sent me uh, the bracelet that uh, we associate now uh, with, uh, with the brand, something very unique, futuristic, again, uh, pure lines, and you can't see the, uh, the way the links are attached because it is, uh, it is on the inside. And uh, yeah, they provide you the uh, the tool, a one millimeter screwdriver, jeweler's screwdriver, watchmaker's screwdriver. This is uh, what it looks like. So if you have one, you are ready to operate on a normal bracelet. And uh, no matter what bracelet you, you buy or what strap, they provide you the, the tools. Uh, this one, you need to have good eyes, uh, a little bit of patience. Uh, this is um, so this watch here. You see, it has uh, quite a few uh, scratches. This is a review model that I, that I will send back, sadly, uh, to the the brand. So it's been bit in uh, many hands. So that's why there's a few uh, scratches. Same on the bracelet. You can see that people have uh, maybe struggled a bit to remove the bracelet. If you don't know how to do it yourself, you can ask uh, your uh, your jeweler to, to do it for you. Uh, it really didn't take uh, long and I got to get a perfect fit. For the rest, everything can be removed with the pull uh, tabs here. Sometimes it'll be difficult to put your, your nail in there. 
you can use a toothpick to to do that and uh, well, because it's uh, it's metal on metal it's a bit rigid sometimes a bit difficult to slide it out just be uh, patient a very high quality uh, clasp though very simple here and a good time to mention that uh, many people uh, maybe stay away from Nomos because of everything being high polished indeed here we have a sports model and everything is still high polish uh, if there's one thing I would suggest uh, the brand is to do a special version of this uh, sport model uh, a bit more bit more butch uh, with uh, brushed surfaces on, on the case uh, maybe a, a gray dial with, with a bit less contrast uh, with the numerals of course this watch comes also in a in very uh, trendy uh, blue I like the, the black though so yes, something uh, a bit more, a bit, a bit less uh, polished for the outdoors. You know, you can call it whatever the word is uh, in German for hike, or call it the, the Saxons. Uh, something a bit more, uh, uh, a bit, a bit strong uh, like this. Uh, same for the, the clasp. I think a brushed clasp uh, would make people feel a bit more at ease, uh, especially with the sports model. You'll have to excuse the uh, background noise. We are on the fringe of a uh, typhoon passing uh, nearby. So it's uh, raining constantly here in uh, Hong Kong. Now a few more things to, uh, to mention. Uh, another gripe from uh, people about Nomos, they say uh, the lugs tend to be quite long and uh, it doesn't bother me. I think it's part of the, the design. I'm sure the designers have tried different sizes of uh, of lugs you can see they do extend a bit further uh, than uh, needed uh, technically to hold uh, the bracelet uh, but uh, on my wrist because the watch is so flat see 42 there's 42 and there's 42 this 42 doesn't wear like uh, another brand's uh, 42 this one is uh, is right at home on my 17 centimeter wrist uh, fairly flat wrists uh, there you go to me, this works. Uh, th this works wonders, and uh, it has a great effect. Now, of course, you can put uh, this beautiful watch uh, on, on a strap. Let me show you a bit uh, the, your, your options there. Bring it up a little bit. Uh, you can uh, dress it up uh, quite nicely uh, with a bit of uh, with a bit of brown. I quite like this uh, this option there. I didn't do a very good job of uh, wiping this fingerprint. You can go uh, for more contrast and a sports look here with uh, this uh, strap. Very Mr. Wonderful, if you know him, type of option. You can go for uh, a stark black here. That looks quite, uh, quite fetching. Or go for something in between and of course you can go with uh, all sorts of uh, natals and uh, parachute straps everything is gonna look good on this uh, on this watch especially the, uh, the, the black uh, dial uh, one more thing to mention 42 hours of uh, power reserve again if you wear if this is your main watch you wear it every day you don't need uh, that many uh, hours I think the whole trend of having three days of power reserve is uh, it's a bit overdone. Uh, depends a bit how many watches you have in your rotation, but uh, this is one you can wear every day, all the time, at the office uh, and uh, on the weekend. Just a, a wonderful thing. Uh, they also sent me this uh, little agenda, and inside I really like uh, this uh, this touch. Everything is very. Nomos, very personal with uh, with Nomos, and you can discover a bit more about uh, what you have purchased because that's the whole thing. You might think, oh, three thousand euros. I don't know if I want to spend that. Uh, I'm trying to convey to you in this video that there is just nothing else of this quality that you you're gonna get if you care a little bit, and at some point you will have to care a little bit about what's inside the, the watch. So. 
175 years of watchmaking in a in a glass shooter. The main thing to realize about Nomos is that it's still a very young brand. Uh, founded in 1990, they started with off-the-shelf movements to build up a war chest. And it's only in the mid 2000s, so not long ago, that they started making the movements. And uh, this caliber here, they make 95% uh, of it. They get, of course, many awards, especially for design. Uh, but they also stand for uh, watchmaking quality. You can see the different lines of, uh, of watches. Tetra is the square one. You have the, the lambda as well. Uh, and it's a great way. I love the way it's uh, handwritten here uh, to learn about the, the brand. Makes you feel closer. They've developed everything, their own escapement. And uh, the result is there, you know. It is adjusted in uh, six positions. It is... Um, I mean, you don't have to have your in-house movement. You can share it. You can ask uh, Jean-Jean Lecoul to make it uh, for you. But, but, but here, the whole thing with this brand is that uh, they are, they are, everything is their own. And I find this uh, really, really wonderful. So the no-date version is uh, 2001, the UW. You learn about the Bauhaus principles. And uh, something I didn't know is in the glass shooter region, uh, you say hello, uh, you say ahoy to say hello, just like you would, I suppose, in uh, in Hawaii. Very, very, very nice. So there you go, guys. I make this video so you can let the brand know what you think about uh, about their watches. So do put that in the comments if you love it. Give it a like. If you have suggestions, things you want to see, like uh, like I did, put it in the um, in the comments. Let the the brand know. Again, I really wanna say how impressed I am by by uh, what they have managed to to produce, and it's such a short amount of, of time uh, in the life of a, of a brand. Uh, this watch is a, is really an impressive proposition with a, in a league of its own, and uh, it, it's been wonderful to uh, to discover it. So thank you, Nomos. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, give the video a little boost uh, with a little like. I would really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know if you would buy the, this watch. Whether you you have uh, other watches of the same price point or more expensive and you think uh, this would be a good addition or whether you're ready to step up from, um, you know, the uh, 500, 1000 uh, euro, uh, dollar uh, level of, uh, of watches that maybe have an off-the-shelf movement, an ETA or a Celita, and uh, wanna discover what it is to have a watch that's fully realized uh, in a house uh, with a strong design of its own and uh, incredible features. Thank you guys, bye bye.